Ugandans in North America are here attending their annual gathering, commonly dubbed as UNA, or Uganda North America Association, an organization that brings together Ugandans from across different uh, parts of uh, uh, North America, from the United States, Canada, and other countries uh, within uh, this uh, hemisphere. We're celebrating 36 years of existence. We are, um, I would say, the oldest and most organized African organization in the diaspora. And the reason we organize these conventions is, uh, is to pull Ugandans from the diaspora, pull them together, to go through different discussions, uh, you know, network and talk about business opportunities. And this is a platform that brings Ugandans that stay in this part of America and those from back home to meet each other, to reunite and even share networks and business ideas and everything on how they can better contribute back home. I am with the Luganda Academy. We are based in DC and like we are online language culture instruction in for Luganda language. This is the annual Uganda convention. It takes place every week, you know, once a year uh, in different cities around the country. Uh, this year it happens to be in Washington DC. Coming from Uganda bringing you affordable housing uh, to our people and the community in America. We put up uh, for the housing projects, that is uh, our apartments that are under condominium arrangement. We can invest in the skills that we've built, the relationships that we've built, and make sure we introduce those to our Uganda, and not just introduce them, invest in healthcare. Our people are dying, and yet we have so many Uganda nurses here. Perhaps one of the significant events that took place at this convention was honoring our former colleague Dr. Shaka Sali with a Lifetime Achievement Award. They credit Shaka Sali for using his voice to empower millions across Africa, for empowering young journalists across the continent and giving people a voice, especially those who felt like they needed to express themselves. Love of the people of Kavali, the small southwestern Ugandan town where I was born and partly grew up. On behalf of my fans around the globe, on behalf of my mother and my father, on behalf of my friends and critics, I accept the award with humility. The takeaway from this conference for me was the simple fact that uh, you have a lot of uh, people who, who are here to sort of forge relationships uh, between the Ugandans in the diaspora and uh, try to figure out how to make their country better. You are talking about uh, people who are looking for investment in the area of oil, renewable energy. We have a lot of sun in Uganda. So that's another area where people can tap into that resource. Real estate, uh, Uganda has a shortage of housing. Investment in uh, real estate is critical. There are so many technology firms that are trying to make their mark in the country, but uh, getting investors from here will make a big difference. I'm Paul Diho, VOA News at the National Harbor in the U.S. state of Maryland.